And welcome back, folks, to another exciting episode of Gothic. Let's kill another couple of these mutts, shall we? Well, assuming I... Oh, God, he's running at me. That's not good. Oh, God, there's more than one. No, hold on. Um... Wow. Really got to time that better if I want to survive, which I kind of do, believe it or not. Let's see some more berries. Good thing we get so much food everywhere. Oh, tasty meat bugs. Yeah. Really, if you do have the time, just stuff your face with food. That's my advice for healthy living. Because uh, if you have any wounds, don't drink health potions. And I should probably give you a disclaimer that this is only applicable to this game. Don't actually try this at home. Alright, here's the next one. Maybe he can walk towards me more slowly. Hey, he does. Good. Which means I can rush in and get my first hit on. Okay. Let's uh, That wasn't so bad, actually. I I'm okay with taking some bruises. Uh, do I have any meat? There's tons of meat. Let's eat that. That works relatively quickly. Alright. Now there is... Yeah, there's a kind of a castle over there. We're not gonna go there yet. I'm gonna try to deal with a couple more of these bloodhounds instead. Hello. Oh god. Okay, so there's two of them. I hope I only attracted one. Maybe I attracted none? No, actually there's one. Okay, that's good. Let's lure it far away from its body, because I don't really want to uh, fight two at once. Ah! Come on. Come on, this is getting a bit too close to call. Um... Yeah, it was very risky, because um, another hit that would have killed me, obviously. And it's very easy to get hit uh, twice by these creatures. Look at the face of it! It doesn't even have that sharp teeth, but... It has a lot of teeth and uh, really tiny eyes. I find that really bizarre, that creature. It's kind of interesting, isn't it? You have all this different ecology with... Scavengers, biters, mole rats, and whatnot. To a degree, they do look interrelated. Oh, mushrooms. Um, but they're clearly not related to any animals that we know. But, yeah, mammals. And yet humans look like they do. Interesting. Okay, it's getting dark. Slowly, but maybe before the night comes we can kill this one. Oh god, there's two still, but that one is really far away. It's so far away, in fact, that it phased into nothingness right there, which is good. Yeah, these are tricky creatures. Good thing they tend to approach rather slowly. Giving you ample opportunity to strike first. I don't quite know how it, how it works, but they do block a lot of your attacks. I mean, they don't have a shield or anything, but they do block your attack somehow, and you don't do any damage, which is a problem. And really, I don't think... Oh god, there's, there's actually two more. There's this one, and there's the one far away. Okay, let's lure this one, then. Let's not lure the other one, though. Okay. Um, so... You only can re you can really only do damage when they're either not blocking, like this one was uh, when it approached me slowly, or right before or right after they strike. Because you can tell whenever they do actually attack me, they let down their guard a little bit, and then it's just a question of who hits first. Uh, yeah. Okay, there's... I hope there's none other... You can actually strafe a bit like this. 
It's useful for walking around creatures and enemies sometimes. But generally it's not that important. You can't fire bows and bolts while strafing in case you're one more. It's more about repositioning yourself in uh, duels with other humans in close combat. I'm honestly not so sure. Maybe it might even have some benefits in fighting monsters. I have to admit I didn't really try that yet. But I guess if I could like walk out of the way of a charging bloodhound or a charging scavenger or what have you, it could actually be really effective. Oh well, I guess we'll see that later. Okay, so there's some strange old fortress on the hill there. I don't think I want to go there just yet. Let's see what's down here. Nothing. But there's also a cave, and caves are usually dangerous, but also rewarding. Let's see what's in here. Might be more bloodhounds. No, it doesn't appear to be, but there's a door. Let's see if there's any good loot inside. Not locked, that's a good start. And a spell scroll and some random junk. Spell scroll and... Aha! The Orc Hammer. It's actually a pretty good weapon. Not as good as Scar's sword, of course, but... You may remember that... Uh, I, I said that a while ago, that some enemies are more vulnerable to other weapons than others are. For instance, um, I think skeletons are pretty much immune or at least very resistant to damage from arrows because, well, they don't have any flesh to pierce those arrows, right? To pierce those arrows with, rather. Uh, and uh, they are generally, I think, more vulnerable to blunt weapons than they are to sharp weapons. And of course a hammer is a blunt weapon. There is a similar thing over here, believe it or not. And I am gonna save just in case, because I am a paranoid bugger. But we shouldn't have too much trouble here. See that thing? It's a bridge guardian. Yep. And it's a stone golem that's guarding the bridge. And it too is very much resistant to sharp weapons, but as you can tell, not very resistant to blunt ones. So that was incredibly easy. Golems are extremely rare, but a few of them exist, and depending on what kind of golem they are, they will have different strengths and weaknesses. These stone golems are generally weak to... Uh, blunt weapons. And the uh, orc hammer is a pretty good blunt weapon, I would say. I don't know I don't know exactly which other weapons would qualify as blunt. I'm guessing hammers and clubs. I doubt that an axe would qualify, even though it's much more weighty than a sword. I don't think uh, the the golden would have been very uh, susceptible to to an axe because it's still primarily a sharp weapon, isn't it? Oh well. So let's slowly ascend to this fortress, whatever it is. Hmm. Normally you wouldn't even come here, simply because things are a bit too dangerous, but once you've made it to a certain point, you can explore a lot further than you would normally expect. And at least after this golem, things seem to be relatively quiet around here, don't they? Or do they? Harpy. Yep, we got something over there. There are harpies in this world, believe it or not. Come here, you lady. I think they deal a ton of damage, but they aren't very strong themselves, as you can tell. Well, they do like to scream a lot. Let's have a look, see here. Some say harpies are very beautiful in a twisted way, but I don't really see it. You be the judge. So yes, this fortress has been taken over by harpies. Kind of unexpected, but uh, 
I guess we can deal with it. Them. I hate that scream they do, but I have to admit, they are actually not that dangerous. Again, they haven't hit me a single time, so let's not get too cocky. If they did, I might die horribly. But uh, as long as you hit them first, they're not that bad. Also, there's another fortress back there, or tower. Looks like it's sunken partially into the ocean. Uh, ocean? No, sea. Lake. River. Whatever it is. It's not an ocean. Sorry about that. Or it's a very small, very strangely located ocean, I would guess. Oh god, that's three of them. Okay. Good thing they get kind of stuck on the walls, I suppose. Eh. Not that bad, actually. I mean, they do hurt. And I think I can only take like four hits, maybe three only. Yep, let's run. So, oh god, that's, a, oh god, it's very close. Um, I need to actually run now. I was starting to get a bit cocky there. Uh, like, well, yes, if they hit you, they hurt. But I can actually take a few hits and I can take on several at once, but... I guess uh, <laughs> that wasn't quite true, was it? Minecrawler soup. Mmm, tasty. I hope. I mean, I hear ants actually quite tasty if properly prepared, but I never tried it. And I don't know about giant ants that eat people, so... I wouldn't want to try that, really. Luckily, the harpies are not very... Uh, they enduring in hunting you. They do give up rather easily. Which is good. There. That's plenty of meat bug. And let's get back in. My hope is to actually get to... Uh, oh. Hold on. Stop flying upwards! Thank you. My hope is to actually get uh, to be a sword master really soon. Because really, I mean, I can still increase my damage now that I have the best sword and... Um, whoa. Must have been a critical hit. I can still cr increase my uh, damage with additional strength. But I assume that actually the um, most important factor at this point, now that I have Skull Sword, would be speed. And again, if I were to upgrade to a Master Swordsman, then speed would probably... The, the increased speed that would grant me would actually be very useful and very important. Come on, come on. Right. I do hear something strange. Some scraping sounds, like bone on bone. I wonder what that might be. Also, it's pretty damn dark in here. I think I might need a torch. There we go. I don't know how he lights it. Maybe he has, like, flint and tinder in his pockets or something. Crappy, old, worn-down weapon. Still worth selling, I say. So let's take it. And this is probably very aged beer. Maybe I can even get a pretty penny for it. Although I don't think they, the price for beer is dependent on how ancient it is. That's more something for wine and uh, whiskey and whatnot. And even then, that stuff can turn into a... Uh, basically... basically can go sour after a while too, so you wouldn't want ancient... utterly ancient... Uh, hmm, wine either. What the? What the? Where did you come from? Okay. 
Okay, this is actually a problem. Um, I need my hammer, I think, for this guy. Um, jump down here. No, walk down here, I mean. Where's my hammer? There it is. Should be more effective against a skeleton, I think. Oop. Actually, it's not. Yep, yeah, it's not. It really isn't. There's another one. Okay. Uh, this is a bit strange. That wasn't supposed to happen, but there you go. Okay, we, we killed some skeletons. And I guess if it's just two and one at a time, I'm like in that other tower, I can actually deal with it. Plus, I don't think I had a scar sword back then. Did I? I may have. My memory is horrible. But I don't think I did. Now, um, where did they come from? Well, that was a bit odd. They weren't actually supposed to be able to attack us yet. <laughs> I'll show you why. Now, where's my torch? Should be in here somewhere. Right. Now we got a key out of this chest. I don't think there's anything else in there. Nope. And here's a lever. And that makes that bookshelf move. And I don't know how, but they teleported through the bookshelf, I think. It was a bit spastic, but we got it done. Right. I'm not sure about exploring this place in the dark with a cruddy torch about to go out. But at least we have some kind of alchemy lab here. Let's be Corcolom for a moment, shall we? We take some potion, we pour it in, we distill magically, and we do it all again. I don't think we actually gain anything from doing this. This is basically just an animation that characters can go through to make the world more lively. So, we get some proper potions from here, which is good. Now, what's hidden in these chests? Plenty of potions. Very nice. And plenty more. Very good indeed. Huh. Now, this place is not a small place. It actually has more than one level. We might need to go up further. Which could be risky. Maybe we should eat something, have another little snack. Good thing we never need to go to the toilet, because that would take a while, I think. All right, let's climb up. I like how long this one-handed sword is. It's hanging below my feet, more or less. Yeah, I guess Scar doesn't like short swords, whatever. It's not a two-handed sword, though. And there seems to be another level above us, but let's not go there yet. Oh. Ah, it's a little... little balcony of swords. What do we have? Oh. I hear a harpy. Where is it? Above us. Can I shoot it? I can. But I can't actually do anything because I'm a bad archer. So let's leave it there for now. Title deed. Huh. I wonder what this might be about. Let's have a look-see. I, Bergmar... A grave of the western field and presiding judge over the lands of my lord of Timorizin, the region surrounding Corinus. Hereby declare that I surrender and sell to the holder of this document and to the house of Innos the fire of the mountain 
fort, oh it's a mountain fort, along with further tenths of my revenue and the mines contained therein for 400 units of gold. So I guess we own this castle now. We just have to clear it out first I suppose. Hmm. Okay, oh god. At least, hold on. At least we'll have plenty of feathers to make new beds with. I don't think I've seen any any beds yet, so we'll need something for mattresses and, and pillows and whatnot. So we'll have plenty of those. And rather ex exclusive feathers as well, so. Hello. There's more of you, and it's a bit more than I like. Because it's actually gonna get really tri That's way too close. Way too close. Way too close. Way too close. Get down! Can you get down with it? I can't jump down is the problem. But I need to get out of here. Okay. That was a bit of a scare. Um, next time we'll return here and try to clear out the rest of this fortress. See you then folks. Bye.